Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'd be doing a suit up face and we'd be using this amazing jute thread. Besides this, I'd be using a lot of tissues. I'd be using some PVA glue. I'd be using some makeup. That's it about with my acrylic paints. And let's get started and see how this goes along. Make sure you drink or eat something before you do this. And I have applied four layers of glue and tissue on my skin. Just glue and tissue and glue and tissue. Make sure you're using a blow dryer to dry it out. After that, I did a layer of cotton on my skin as well. As you can see right now, I think this was one of my biggest mistake to do. Um, because this made it too thick to cut in and it gave me a bit of difficulties later on. So I would tell you guys to avoid this step. Instead, just do four layers of tissues and glue and make sure you dry it up very well. After that, I applied a little scar wax to the corners of my face to blend in the corners very well. Now I used a pink blush, a peach I should say. Giving in a little depth to my under eyes so that I look a little tired and not very fresh. Followed by a darker shade of matte brown. Make sure you're only using matte products. Then a little foundation on the white tissue. Make sure you're using a sponge to give it an even look. Apply a good amount of foundation. And because it's going to be a little wet, use a little translucent powder. Talcum powder as well will work. Top it off with a little bit of more blush so that it gives the red skin look so that it looks a little bruised. After that, cut in two really well. Take a sharp scissor and make sure you keep your safety. Cut into the corners. Cut a little more part from between your lips just to make sure you're giving in a little more depth and making space for the needle to pass through. After this, add a little dark red to the inner part of your lips to the cut. Make sure you're filling everything good so there are no white spots left. And after that, make sure you're using a black paint to paint the inner part of your lips or on your lips to get the deepest effect. Now, that's one of my mistakes I made. I used the complete jute row because it was very thick, it didn't pass through. So then I realized I can separate them and I can use a needle instead. Now, the needle won't go through the skin right away. I mean, the scar wax skin right away. So you will have to make holes with your scissors first. Okay, so make good holes nice spaces with your scissors for, scissors first and then cross it through with your needles just like this this is going to take time and some adult supervision make sure you ensure your safety for this one make nice holes spacious holes like these and pass through your needles just sew it up and down up and down just the normal way and the final product should look like this use a little bit of honey to make a thick paste of blood Put in your acrylics red and black. Okay, this is going to be thick. And the reason why I won't be using any water is because it dries out. Honey is not going to dry out. It's going to remain and keep on giving the wet effect for a longer time. Use a sponge, dab it on just how you're looking at it right now. It gives a really nice effect. And use the same honey, drop it off. And it's going to run through because it's sloppy and that's it that's pretty much about it that's the final product and make sure the needle keeps hanging from the other end so it gives a more dramatic look and that's what the end final result looks like i hope you guys like this video as well if you like show love and care and support like subscribe and comment below do keep watching and yeah stay safe bye bye